Um, I mean, Tyler Perry, he's very close with T.D. Jakes, and they are, um, Tyler, I've said Tyler Perry's thing is that he likes to cross-dress, that's why he has these movies, which I haven't seen, someone told me that, I was talking to someone about it, and they were like, oh, he has these movies where he cross-dress, doing certain people, so there's things in the court that can't come out yet. Fury. tell y'all something when i found out that brother polite was touching on that woman's child i was done when i found out that killer mike may have sold us out to to trump i was done when everybody started digging up information on um and then when people were talking about tamika being a grifter you know that she only comes out when it's beneficial and don't get me started on Cornell um, X. You know, it's just a lot of leaders we've had in the black community that acted as if they were for us. But when the, the opportunity presented itself for them to turn their back on us, they did. By saying thank you for stopping by again, my name is Tink Marche. And I've been doing this since 2017, okay? And I cover a variety of topics from local trending news which don't get much traction since someone wants to drop down in my comment and say, oh, well, isn't there something else better that we could be talking about? It's World War III. Yeah, but I didn't see your engagement on my Palestine post. I didn't see you engaging, talking about the bloggers um, and the newscasters out in Gaza that was coming up unalive because they were being targeted. I didn't see you under that post. However, yet and still, you're in my comments. Nobody strong-armed you to come over here and see what we was talking about. You decided to click the button, okay? So if you're going to be here, you're going to comment, be respectful. And I don't know why y'all think condemning me for talking about your uh, precious Lord and Savior, Bishop T.D. Jakes. I don't know why y'all think that's bothering me. Isn't, isn't he a celebrity? I thought he was famous. I don't talk about him. Somebody else will. It's not going to... Just because you don't believe in the... Um, allegations and all these people that want proof oh trust and believe i feel like the evidence will be on its way you know why because majority of this information is coming out is from his own congregation truly really don't believe that people are as bothered about the deception and the lies and the secrets and sweeping stuff under the rug when it comes to his children you know i don't think they're as bothered by the gay rumors as they are the deception stated in this video is my own opinions points and views i do have some information that i want to share with y'all but before i do i got to get this off my chest nobody cares that you don't believe any of the rumors that's you okay that doesn't mean we're not going to talk about it okay number two we're not going to act like there's no fake phony church going folks that may be responsible for a lot of people leaving the church in the first place because they act holier than thou in church, but outside of church, they, they, they're they sinning, they're, they're fornicating, you know? And so we're not going to act like we have those phony, fake church-going people that portray to be one way, and then on the outside, they're living a whole nother lifestyle. Another thing. I find it so interesting that P.D. Jakes is only addressing the rumors when it comes to the Diddy parties and what have you, which he's really not addressing it. He's denying it more than anything. And hey, he could have just went to a party, you know, but that was enough for people to get people inside of his church to start talking because he started trending. They were upset. Perfect timing. You want to know what your bishop has been up to with your money? outside of church i mean you do put them on a higher pedestal than you do your own mom and dad right when you want to know where is your money going at the very least or are we still turning a blind eye i'm not trying to convince anybody of anything i only shared the information that was already swirling that was already out there you can type that information in and you'll see many other content creators talking about the same very thing that I gave to you all on um, whatever day I posted that video. I'm not giving you a sermon over here, so don't expect me to uplift you or make you feel good and comfortable about the information that's coming out because when people are being exposed, usually it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Take everything that we say with a grain of salt if you don't want to believe it. That's fine. 
That is your prerogative. I'm not going to argue with you about your opinion. You know, I'm not. I'm Because that's your perception. I don't know if you have a, a personal relationship with this guy. I don't know if, it, I don't know who you know. So, you know, your perception of him may be completely different of my perception. But when I know when I went to that church, it was an entity in there. And I got the hell on down. Do find it a little strange that these people are having conventions, uh, conventions for women, and they're catering to the broken women, right? Because it's you know when you're um men when you're in ministry or you're doing any type of public speaking, you got to figure out which emotion you're gonna play off of when it comes to your audience, and they play on the vulnerable and the weak and the broken. All right, in my opinion. And then you have these people out here in the background not saying a word about Michelle Loud and her precious baby, Jason. You know, that's not even Cora's biological son. Y'all don't find that weird? Told us that they paid off her lawyers. She even said that Sarah Jakes, okay? She said this openly on a public platform, if I'm not mistaken, that Sarah Jakes stepped in and was like, doing some type of ritual with her. Or maybe she said another name. Don't quote me on that. But someone in Cora's camp came and got Michelle because she was dealing with postpartum depression. And if anybody has ever dealt with that, it is H-E double hockey sticks. You're going to be easily persuaded one way or another as long as it brings you happiness and make you feel like a normal person. Especially if this is your best friend attempting to help you, right? So you're going to go with it. You're going to go with whatever process that you feel will be best for you because I've been there. Postpartum is rough and some people do not pull themselves out of it. It can take three to four years for a woman to really heal from postpartum depression. Uh, I seen Sarah and Cora have a sit down and they were talking, right? And I called Sarah saying, we've always been in each other's mess. I'm gonna always have your back. Whatever you're going through, I'm going through. And they're saying that Cora took a page from Sarah's book when it comes to taking all these people's children. Y'all remember the show Green Leafs? I think it was based off of another church, but I think it's I think it's the Jakes. About it. The daughter comes in town, hadn't seen her family much, begins preaching. This sister Cora is trying to get into ministry, but she be messing up she be messing up bad with the family. She easily fall for traps. It's easily persuaded by men. I can go on and on and on. To mention Tyler Perry is their close friend. The show the pastor really, really looked up to his oldest daughter and wanted to pass the torch to his oldest daughter, which would be Sarah. And then Cora. I cannot remember her name. Is it Chastity? Something like that. Start with a CH. Um, that plays Cora, in my opinion. She was just a fucking mess. Remember? Yeah, I think the show was about the Jakes. That's another topic for another day. All are saying, stop playing with the man of cloth. This is too diabolical. This is too much, right? Cora needs to stop playing with people's kids. What is Tink talking about? I'm talking about Michelle Loud. Look her up. Okay, she went live about two years ago, I believe, and she talked about the fact that she was best friends with Cora and she was going through a rough time. I have a perspective on that. I have two things that I think happened with her baby, but I'm not going to share it in this video because the purpose of this video is to expose what I found out um, while I was researching T.D. Jakes and his family. But I feel like Cora told on herself in this interview that she did with her sister, and she said that she's always wanted to give kids, but she couldn't because she's infertile, right? That she had to be okay and comfortable with um, other ways you know, to have kids because her only hope and dream and goal, okay, from the time she was young to now, is that she wanted to provide a seed, a blood seed for her husband. And what that is, Cora, you don't have his blood kids. Allegedly, they're saying that, you know, even the little girl that you adopted, and I ain't going to go into details right now because it is diabolical, y'all. And I'm still putting some things together. I seen Michelle is supposed to um, interview with Ratchet TV tonight. And I for sure am going to review her interview and come back with the rest of my commentary. But you're not providing your husband with his blood kids. And come to find out your husband allegedly, you know, m word that little girl for years. So what happened? I'm not quite sure with the um, adoption process. 
the legal way because I know that the adoption process is very tedious. Um, they're going to see through everything when it's concerning your family. They have to make sure that you're bringing that child to a um, proper place and that you're a good fit. And they're going to do this over a course of, I believe, a few months to a year, the adoption center, whichever. I know one in Dallas is called Edna Gladney. Ask me how I know. It can be very, very taxing. And I think her and Brandon just kind of gave up and was like, fuck it. Let me find the underground way to have access to these children. But it was this part that got me. She said, you lose some kids, you give them back, you gain some kids, you give them back. And over the course of the years, I, I've ran through so many kids. What did you do with those kids if you weren't going through the proper steps of adoption? What were you doing with those children? What you did to the parents, you threw them away like they were trash. You figured out that they were pregnant. You assumed that they were unfit mothers. And then you railroaded them into court. Or you just deported them, right? And kept their, kept their child. <laughs> Ain't that bad? I know oh so well how people can, you know, allow you to stay with them and then they turn on you. Right, they get you comfortable and then all of a sudden you gotta go. Or, you know, I know people who, you know, like the kids but hate you. I've had some interesting experiences along the way <laughs> where people absolutely just formed this hatred for me but then love my children. I don't want anybody in my presence that will talk badly about me to my children but want my children to come around. This is why I believe like maybe a few weeks ago I was saying on my TikTok, even if you're the biological mama, you better get your paperwork on them. And I understand, you know, needing a break, but you better keep your kids at the house because there are people out here that will literally plot on you. And in Texas, I think the law is this, unless they changed it. If you leave the children, even if you had a verbal Y'all verbally agreed. Just keep her here for six months while, while I get on my feet. If they decide that you didn't do enough in that six months rim, they can flip it on you and say that you're an unfit parent, that you abandoned your child. Blood related to that child or not, blood relative or not, they can take you to court. I was watching this girl. Um, it don't matter, y'all. Just know that I know that. I've been through that. I know what it's like. Not being able to see your child because a couple of people became bitter. Because you were supposed to fail. You were supposed to be down and stay down. Well, Michelle says she's coming for what's hers, Cora. And I don't know if, Cora, um, if Michelle is going to be able to win this fight, this battle. But I do know and I feel that this is why the Jakes is getting all of their karma. It may not even be directed at T.D. Jakes, but he's in a way, right? I always say when karma comes back around for a person that, you know, um, you're associated with or someone that you love, get out the way. Get out the way. Because as long as you're attached to that person, your world will come crumbling down as well. Ask me how I know, y'all. I've been there. So... I don't know. I'm hoping for a better outcome for Michelle. Um, but I don't know what happened in that court, nor have I really reviewed any documents to really, you know, tell how Cora was able to railroad Michelle in the courts. But I think it's awfully sad that you did this out of desperation, that you did this out of the whole notion of wanting to provide a seed for your punk-ass husband, whom is locked up. It's amazing to me how how people can be very conniving and sneaky and play on people's emotions. And I don't like any person that take advantage of any woman or man. I don't like it. It doesn't sit well with me because you can build relationships with people without taking advantage of them. We as family members and friends have to hold our people accountable. Otherwise, they'll continue to live in a delusional, unrealistic deceitful world you got to pop that bubble sometimes and not be afraid but td jake said that he will hold his daughters down 
regardless. He said that you have to choose your children, even when they're stealing people's children. That's what we're doing. Michelle also said that the mom, she reached out to the mom. I don't know if the mom verbally said this to her. No, she said she saw her in court, if I'm not mistaken. And Sarita Jakes told her, we know it's wrong, but this is what Cora wants to do. Sounds about right. Now, I do have two perspectives on what may have happened with Michelle Loud, but I won't share my perspective until I see her interview. You know, announcements before I show this video of the woman that has claimed to sue T.D. Jakes, I want to make an announcement. I will be providing services for my new content creators, those who are just beginning to get on this journey of YouTube um, that will be dropping real soon. So I want y'all to stay on the lookout for that. Also, make sure you um, subscribe and like the video as it pushes me up through the algorithm and get me in front of people who normally wouldn't see my content okay i truly appreciate it plus it's free and um you can do it on your way in or or on your way out i call it turning on and off the lights you know what i mean when you come in you turn on the lights you hit like and on your way out you turn the light off right so hit like <laughs> and then also i want to see y'all in the comments Listen, i'm not trying to convince y'all one way or another if y'all believe in man although the bible told you not to by all means do it as you damn well please. I never said that you had to believe it. I said this is what's been said, okay? And he's not above reproach. I'm sorry. Especially if he's out with P. Diddy, okay? He is not above reproach. But let's get to the news that I found out. Well, it's not, it's not actually news. It's been out there, but I'm just now learning about this. Y'all, I think in the next week... We'll be talking about somebody else anyways, because I feel like this rabbit hole is getting deeper, wider, and even more insane. I don't think T.G. Jakes was the only target. So if that make you feel comfortable, you know, by all means, take that as you will. But I definitely think that uh, there will be more names dropped in the months to come. I think 2024 is starting off with a bang. And we are in the year of revelation and i don't understand the people that love bloggers one minute that want us to promote their products their shows you know their speeches we're good for that but then when it's time to criticize and critique it's a problem but really honestly y'all wouldn't know half the shows half the trending news half of the you know allegations that's being said if it wasn't for bloggers and content creators so cut that out um, i've been tyler perry he's very close with tv jakes and they are um tyler i've said tyler perry's thing is that he likes to cross dress that's why he has these movies which i haven't seen someone told me that i was talking to someone about it and they were like oh he has these movies where he cross dressing certain people so there's things in the court that can't come out yet another thing is first and foremost i'm a mother and i was trafficked with porn and a lot of this evidence that people are wanting to see has to do with me being and and that is the evidence that people are asking me to see a lot of that's already out there do i want my children to endure even more as they grow up to see this as their mom no will i get the hate for it yes if that means protecting my children but there is evidence and evidence is going to end up coming out as more women come forward as certain things start opening up we're going to see it but most likely my face is going to be blurred when you see this evidence for my protection and for all the other women and, and if i can uh, if i have your permission is it okay to name these that you have already named absolutely uh, yeah. you have named uh mike i think it's mike erie Nigeria, yep. From uh, what's his rock solid? Rock Harbor Church. He's rock at Rock Harbor. Harbor. He's at a church now in Tennessee called Journey. Okay, uh, and then you have uh, you have mentioned Rick Warren, uh, Greg Laurie, and uh, T.D. Jakes. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you this question: Because you have publicly named these men, are they suing you? No. Why not? Do you think they're why are they not suing you? Well, I, I think uh, the answer is obvious, but I think it needs to be spoken. Well, once you went to a court and you're suing, discovery comes into play, and so the discovery of the evidence that I have would come into play, and as you know, courts are corrupt and stuff, someone eventually is going to release that evidence. And so they also don't know all the evidence that I do have against them. And so, of course, they're not going to sue me because as soon as they start suing me, discovery comes into play. And that will show that they are abusers and trafficking women and children. And it will prove the tunnels that they have within their church and the secret rooms that they have in the church. And the girls, yeah.